Hey y'all, so today is day three of the 100 Days of Happy and day one of 100 Days of Real Food. mentioned in a previous vlog, I decided to start the 100 Days of Happy on Monday and the first two days really didn't go very well. No. No. Mm -mm. Not even a tiny bit well. No wellness happening. Mm -mm. And as a result of that, I had the genius idea to vlog my way through the 100 days in hopes that um, it would just make me a little bit more intentional and um, give me a little bit more motivation and incentive to just try <laughs> way harder than, <laughs> even moderately harder than I did on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so here I am, and I am happy to report that today was much, much better. I mean, I was at work instead of, you know, I don't know, shopping at Sephora or something like that, you know. But I managed to get through it without being a grumpy McGrumperson and without <clears throat> and without eating crap. So yay me. So yeah, I just wanted to just do this quick little update. I'm going to try to keep these really short. I know my previous vlogs have kind of been on the longer side and that really has not been intentional. I think it's, I'm just, I don't know. I just say a lot of words. Um, I'm going to try to keep these to like five or six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. Uh, uh, on. Uh, uh, on. Uh, 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 on. My rap name is Sweet Tea. So I'm going to give you a rundown of some of the things that made me happy today. And um, if you are my friend on Facebook, which is probably the only reason you're watching this, then you may already know these, but um, but anyway, just a quick recap of day three. The first thing was that um, I had some really sweet time with the Lord this morning, and it really made me realize that really since the fire, more so over the past month, I think, just because everything had been so crazy. I went to Tennessee to try to see my newest nephew being born three weekends in a row and um, trying to find an apartment and catch up on editing. And it was just nuts, nuts, just cray cray. It just kind of hit me this morning that my relationship with the Lord has kind of been relegated to, you know, incidental type you know if it happens in the car kind of thing and um, so yeah no wonder <laughs> I've been really moody and emotional and just not dealing very well so I took some time this morning to to get alone with God I got a really good word and that was what I needed so um, just kind of having that moment of knowing that even though you know I may put him on the back burner, I'm not on the back burner, <laughs> um, and you know, when I do return, it, it's never, you know, with a where have you been kind of thing, it's just always open arms and, and just speaking into my life as if we never missed a day. But that was really awesome. And then I had some errands to run at lunch. And I was starving. I should have eaten before I went to go run the errands. I got super, super hungry and um, and shaky and headachey. Um, and my knee jerk was go go to Burger King. You know, get a burger, shove it in your face, you'll be fine. But I made myself wait until I got back to work and ate a salad. You know, eating that burger, sure, it would it would have had some sort of immediate. Um, effect on me but later I would have felt like crap <laughs> and it wouldn't be achieving the goal that that I set for myself and and I know you know end game eating the salad is a way better choice so choosing a salad over Burger King that made me happy <laughs> then I got some disappointing news I'm gonna be stuck in this hotel for a bit longer and that was kind of a bummer and so to console myself I did not go home and eat nachos and candy. I went to Sephora instead. 
Hi, my name is Tina and I'm addicted to makeup. Didn't spend a whole bunch of money. I just bought two little things and just, you know, just walking around and swatching eyeshadows and looking at the beautiful YSL lipsticks. It was a nice way to end the day. So, yeah, that was day three and much better than yesterday. <laughs> for sure. I just want to tag on one little thing before I sign off. I've talked a lot about YouTubers that are beauty gurus because I'm obsessed with makeup. Duh. But if you're not into makeup but you do like somebody that is way funnier than me and sort of looks like Scarlett Johansson with dark hair, then mosey on over to Bits and Clips. Her name is Marie, and she is lovely and funny and random and um, just a whole lot of fun and hardly ever talks about makeup, really. So, although she did mention makeup one time in her post from today, but normally she's just, this is what me and my family are doing, and this is what me and my husband are doing, and her and her husband are hysterical. They, they sing in the car, and they, um, they vlog themselves shopping at Ikea and, and doing family things, and just their interaction with with each other and how they like kind of challenge each other to do this something sillier than the other one did and um, they're just really cute and a whole lot of fun so if you're looking for a little diversion on YouTube that is not makeup centric <laughs> then um, yeah mosey on over to bits and clips you won't regret it okay that's it for me I give today um, I give today a 6 out of 10 Yes, I'm a glass half empty kind of person. I know I have a long way to go, but I'm really looking forward to this journey. And I hope somebody else is too. I hope it'll be fun. I hope it'll be interesting. I hope it'll encourage somebody. We'll see. Thanks, y'all. Until next time. Bye.